In our previous two sections, we have covered routing and rendering. Now let's dive into our third section, data fetching and mutations in XJS. So far, we've been working with hard-coded content in our routes and components. But let's be real. In actual enterprise applications, we're usually pulling data from external sources. The app router is built on React Server Components architecture, which gives us the flexibility to fetch data using either server components or client components. However, it is usually preferable to use server components for data operations because you can directly communicate with your databases and file systems on the server side. You can get better performance since you're closer to your data sources. Your client side bundle stays lean because the heavy lifting happens server side. And your sensitive operations and API keys remain secure on the server. Throughout this third section, I'll show you how to handle data in both client and server components, but we will mainly focus on server components. To get us started with the section on data fetching, I've already set up a fresh Next.js project in VS Code using the command npx create next app at latest data hyphen fetching hyphen demo. Go ahead and run this command. You should end up with the same project I have here. Now that we are all set up, let's dive into data fetching with Next.js. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.